Hello, everyone. My name is Christopher Salzberg, your realtor here in South Florida. Today, we are here in the beautiful town of Lighthouse Point. Lighthouse Point is just two miles long, strat bet tucked between Route 1 and the Intracoastal Waterway, just north of Fort Lauderdale and south of Boca Raton. But today, we are talking about some of the unique vetting that needs to happen when you purchase waterfront property in Florida. Now, as a lifelong boater myself, one of the reasons I live in Florida is the boating. It is amazing. Fishing, diving, exploring, adventures, cruising. Florida is a boater's heaven. And homes on the water, like this one, we're on a canal here in Lighthouse Point, are more accessible than you might think. But before buying a waterfront home, there's some important things you should know that you need to take into consideration when buying a waterfront home. The first thing is the seawall. So the seawall is the wall that, can, that prevents your land from falling into the water and you literally losing your property. So the seawall is the most important component of any waterfront property. And if we look behind us here at our next door neighbor, this is a seawall. And this is a very good seawall. As you can see, this is strong concrete. And under this dock here that we are, have below us, this is also brand new concrete. And these are concrete pilings shrouded in synthetic lumber. We'll get a little more into that. But the first thing to take into account when you are evaluating a property that's waterfront is, is the seawall, How? what is the integrity of the seawall? Now, if the integrity is poor, you just wanna know that in advance, it can always be remedied. In the case of a home like this, it is a solid concrete, which is the preferred method of construction a solid concrete seawall. So number one, waterfront property, seawall. Number two is water access. So as you can see here at this home, we have two beautiful boats. We have a 27 foot center console and a 52 foot flybridge. So this, this home has excellent accommodation for large boats and two of them. Um, it also, this canal is deep and has excellent access to the ocean via Hillsborough Inlet. We're just about two, two miles north of Hillsborough Inlet. So you clients wanna be sure that they don't have a frustrating long cruise to get to the nearest inlet. You wanna make sure you take all those things into account. The depth of the water, the access, no fixed bridges if you have a, a tall boat with a flybridge or a tower. Um, so the first thing you look at is seawall and navigable access. Then we get into dock construction. So this docking material is a synthetic lumber. Synthetic lumber looks like wood, installs like wood, but lasts much longer. It's easier on your feet, it doesn't splinter, and it's just indestructible to the salt and corrosion of being a waterfront property. These, the waterfront and the dock, these are the types of things you need specialized inspectors to inspect. It's not something you just come in and say it looks nice. And there's two reasons why. Number one is you want to make sure you avoid any unexpected expenses after you purchase the property. But number two, there are zoning restrictions in Florida where, it's not, certainly not the case with this property, but where docks have been built that no longer comply with zoning. So if the dock was destroyed in a storm or removed to be replaced, it would not be able to be replaced. So it's very important to make sure you understand the zoning and the riparian access or riparian rights of the property that you're considering for waterfront property in Florida. The other thing you need to consider is floodplains and elevation. So it's important for the protection of your property as well as your insurance rates. So for example, as you can see with this particular home, this property goes up substantially in elevation as we move away from the water. And that, and of course your survey will provide more details on this, we can see clearly this property is very well elevated from the water. That means that your insurance is going to be reasonable and you're going to be well in well within zoning and regulatory compliance. So those are just some of the things that we look at. Uh, as a lifelong boater myself, I love working with my clients in that want to buy waterfront properties. There's so many waterfront options here in Florida. And there's so many ways to enjoy the boating lifestyle for less than you might think. And of course, it's accessible year round to those of us in Florida. But to review our checklist, 
seawall integrity, dock integrity, elevation and floodplain, ordinances about building docks and repairing seawalls, and how much of your property are you entitled to build a dock out? So as you can see with this particular home, the seawall is here, but we're allowed to build our dock all the way out to here, which puts us in the deeper water for big boats. So there are a lot of things to take into account when evaluating waterfront property, and it can be a little overwhelming, but as long as you go step by step and make sure you have all the right team and resources in place to inspect the property before you make a decision, a buying decision, you will have an amazing piece of property and you will be able to thoroughly enjoy the wonderful boating lifestyle here in South Florida. Thank you for your time today. So as we were talking about, there are a lot of things to take into account with when considering waterfront property. And we forgot to mention one for you that is really unique to Florida waterfront property. And that is mangrove preservation and rules and regulations around mangroves. So mangroves are very important trees that grow right at the water's edge here in Florida that help maintain the ecosystem and the environment. And they are protected by state, federal, excuse me, state statute here in Florida. So you cannot remove or trim mangrove trees on your property without checking the proper ordinances and having professionals who know how to do it according to Florida statute. So a lot of things associated with waterfront properties. We forgot one, sorry about that. But we wanted to update you too, in addition to, to docks, uh, seawalls, elevations, floodplains, um, local ordinances on how far out into the, your riparian rights extend, it's important to understand the mangroves. And if you have mangroves on your property, how they will impact how you can maintain and manage your property and what you have to do to do it properly, but, excuse me, legally according to, to Florida statute. Again, it can sound like a lot, but as you take a look at all these beautiful homes here, and particularly in Lighthouse Point, but all over the state of Florida, as long as you have the team on your side to manage your purchase process, thoroughly vet any properties you're evaluating, you will enjoy an amazing waterfront home and the amazing boating lifestyle here in Florida. Thank you.